this segment is going to be called random and this is where we give you random tips and today's first random tip is about the microwave on your microwave you'll see several buttons and a lot of times you just put it in or you put your food in and you press your temperature not temperature you press the yeah you might press temperature or somebody you just put the amount of time and then you press start however there is a power level on every mic on every microphone every microwave every microwave has a power level you may have never noticed it before or didn't pay attention to it before but I guarantee you will now so again press the power or press the the amount of time you want the food to be in there preferably two minutes you can put it in there for uh, now what I what I uh, used to do is put it in for 225 225 then hit the power level to four and press start and I check on it and see if it evenly distributed the heat if it didn't sometimes I do 225 and put it on power five you know but try for yourself and you'll see it's much more easier than just pressing a bunch of numbers and sticking it in there and letting the microwave zap your food microwaves are not that great altogether however every now and then you not have to use but you'll be compelled to use a microwave I use a microwave maybe five times a year and that's no exaggeration um, some people use it every day so this tip may help you to not zap your food all the time sometimes your food comes out with the bread is all hard or the the food is all rough because you're giving it too much power so this is a random random tip it's gonna and if you put your food in the microwave oven those that still use the microwave there's a lot of us that don't you put your food inside the microwave and you press the time that you want it to heat let's say two minutes then press power and it's gonna you know look for a number to, for you to put in there press four which makes it maybe 40 I think it's gonna go to 40 and then press start you're gonna notice a difference in your food as opposed to just putting it in there pressing the time and pressing start you can increase I'm sorry increase or decrease the power of the microwave while it's cooking your food so just a little tip for you that was tip number one you can adjust the power level number two would be to make a hole in the middle of your food when you put your food in the microwave put a little make a make a, 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 a space in the middle of your food and then heat your food up it will heat it much more evenly okay make a donut hole make a donut hole in your food while you're microwaving it and it will heat up the food more evenly that's tip number two tip number three is keep your lottery tickets whether you win or you lose preferably <laughs> you know when you win you can use the tickets that you lost with to offset the taxes that you owe what am I saying if you have been playing lotto for the entire year and you finally hit for five grand in December all of those tickets that you've accumulated that you lost with throughout the year can be used to offset that winning in other words that five grand you got to pay X amount of dollars in taxes but you can offset what you paid for those lottery tickets up to that point following I hope so keep the scratch offs and for the um, and for the actual lottery tickets so if you go to um, the location where you purchase the tickets and you scan it and you didn't win don't throw it away hold on to it you can only claim the winnings or the losses in that year all right so if you won 500 I think the, the the threshold is six hundred dollars or more you have to pay taxes on so just in the event that you collect or that you win six hundred dollars you now can take that six hundred dollars that you paid purchasing tickets 
and offset whatever taxes you may owe on that six hundred dollars make sense hope so and that should have been number four I have a no it's not number four I have a list behind me last tip there is a winter and a summer switch on your ceiling fan heat rises so if you hit that button on your um, micro I'll, I'll, I'll do a, I'll make a little description right here random there you go just about every ceiling fan has one you turn the switch to the left or to the right or there's maybe an up and down and it can control the, uh, the direction it'll go forward or backward and depending on the way your blades are positioned it will pull the air up or push the air down of where you're gonna press there's a button on the side of your ceiling fan now heat rises so in the summertime you want that cool air pulled up but in the winter time you want that hot air drawn down all right so you will have to hit your switch and see what position is which where the air will be pushed down or will the, when the air will be sucked up all right so there's a summer and there's a winter switch on your ceiling fan it will make a big difference on those hot days you may have been suffering because you're pushing that heat down on yourself as opposed to pulling that cool air up um and the projects I still live in the projects in brownsville those hot hot days we used to sleep on the floor because the floor is the coolest place in the winter time why because all the cool air is on the lower low you know lower part of the house think about of a fire um, a lot of people haven't been in a fire thank god but if you're in a fire you're supposed to crawl on the floor because most of the smoke is going to be at the top of level so smoke rises if you're crawling on the floor it's going to be cooler down there and you know you're going to escape it's i think like three feet don't, don't quote me on this you may have like three feet of air down there where the smoke won't be at the, that lower level just yet i mean it will, it will encompass the room but you have a small window to get out crawl on the floor but the cool air we used to sleep on the floor because it was cooler on the floor all right so if you set your ceiling fan to pull that cool air up you'll be cool in the room all right so this this is random every video we're going to throw some random tips at you and um i hope this helps somebody so thank you for watching Peace.